In today's lecture, we will see solved questions part 1 in Ethernet. We will start the session by knowing the conversion of hexadecimal to binary. The hexadecimal to binary conversion. We know one hexadecimal digit is equal to four binary bits because hexadecimal takes the value between 0 and 9, A, B, C, D, E and F. So there are 16 possible values in hexadecimal digit but binary takes only two values, 0 and 1. In order to convert hexadecimal to binary, we need to know the decimal equivalent of hexadecimal. So the decimal equivalent is placed as a table like this. So we have hexadecimal numbers and we have decimal numbers. So in decimal if it is 0 and the hexadecimal equivalent is 0 only. So from 0 to 9, the decimal equivalent and hexadecimal equivalent are the same. For decimal 10, the hexadecimal equivalent is A. For 11, the hexadecimal equivalent is B, 12, 13, 14 and 15 in decimal, it's equivalent in hexadecimal R, C, D, E and F respectively. Let's see the conversion now. In order to do the conversion, I am giving you a notion called 8421. To remember this, I will give you a shortcut. Just start with 1, multiply this with 2, we will get the next part, that is 2. 1 into 2 is 2. Multiply this with 2, we will get 4. Multiply this with 2, we will get 8. In other words, this will be starting from 2 power 0 because binaries have only 2 digits. So 2 power 0 is 1, 2 power 1 is 2, 2 power 2 is 4, 2 power 3 is 8. We will see an example now. Convert the hexadecimal 5B base 16 to binary. We know when the base is 16, it's an hexadecimal number and we are required to convert this into binary. So what I am going to do is, I am going to take this table because the decimal values equivalent hexadecimal is depicted in this table. So the answer for 5B base 16 is 01001011 base 2. How did we get this? So I will solve this now. Let's take the first hexadecimal digit 5. As I already mentioned in the previous slide that in order to convert, we are going to follow the notion 8421. So just place 8421. Now for what digit hexadecimal digit we are going to convert? 5. Just go to this table and refer the hexadecimal number 5. The hexadecimal 5's decimal equivalent is 5. Just take this 5 and how can we get this 5 with the help of 8421? So we don't need 8 because 5 is a smaller number than 8 but we need 4. So I am putting a 1 against 4 and we need one more in order to get 5, right? So 5 is equal to 4 plus 1. So we are putting 1 against 4 and we are putting 1 against 1 and the other things are 0. So this is this, this blue color is for 5. How to do the conversion for hexadecimal B? Just go to the table, see what is the decimal equivalent for hexadecimal B. The hexadecimal B's decimal equivalent is 11. So we are going to take this 11 and we are going to create this. How can we get 11? 11 is equal to 8 plus 3. So I am putting 1 against 8 and we need to put 1 against 3. But there is no 3 in the table but 3 can be achieved with the help of 2 and 1. So I am putting 1 against 2 and 1 against 1 and we don't need 4 here. So the binary equivalent for B is 1011. So the binary equivalent for hexadecimal 5B is 01011011 base 2. I hope you are clear with the examples. Now we will dive into question number 1. What is the hexadecimal equivalent of the following Ethernet address? And we are given with the binary address. We know in this example they have given in binary and we are required to convert this binary to its equivalent hexadecimal. But in the example we have seen how to convert from hexadecimal to binary. But this question involves conversion of binary to hexadecimal. The process is very simple. Let's see how to solve this problem. The solution is, we know every Ethernet address will be of 6 bytes. So this is byte 1, byte 2, byte 3, byte 4, byte 5 and byte 6. So we are concerned about these 6 bytes and we need a table for doing this conversion and we are going to follow the same 8421 notion. And let's take the 6 bytes and place it like this. So this is byte 1, this is byte 2, this is byte 3 and we have placed all the 6 bytes just like this. After we place this like this, now we will focus on the first byte. This first byte has two hexadecimal characters or two hexadecimal digits because the first four bits represents digit 1, the second four bits represent digit 2 and the hexadecimal equivalent for 01011010 is 5A. How did we get this? 
we will place this 4 bits in the 8421 table. Now where and all we are getting 1? Against 4 and against 1. So 4 plus 1 is 5. So 5 is the hexadecimal equivalent for 0101. And we are using that 5 here. Next we will focus on 1010. Let's place 1010 in the 8421 table. When we place 1010, we will get this is 8 plus 2, this is 10. So 10 means, in decimal 10 means, its hexadecimal equivalent is A. So the hexadecimal equivalent for this binary is 5A. Let's see the second byte. The second byte's hexadecimal equivalent is 1, 1. How did we get this? The first half is 0, 0, 0, 1. The second half is also 0, 0, 0, 1. We will place it in the 8421 table, 0, 0, 0, 1. And here also 0, 0, 0, 1. Both are same, so we can do it only for one time. It's enough. So what is the decimal equivalent? The decimal equivalent is 1 and 1's decimal equivalent is equivalent to 1 hexadecimal. So we get 1, 1. So use the same approach to complete the remaining things. So we will get 5, 5 for the third byte, 1, 8 for the fourth byte, A, A for the fifth byte and 0, F for the last byte. How did we get 0, F? The first half is all zeros. When it is all zero, obviously it is zero. And the second half is all one. When it is all one, it will be 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. So it is 15. The 15 is the decimal number. Its equivalent hexadecimal is F. So the answer to question 1 is 5A1155188AA0F. I hope now you are clear with the conversion. We will move on to question number 2. Define the type of the following destination addresses. There are three MAC addresses given and we are required to define the type of the following destination address. Just recollect what are the different destination addresses we have. The destination address can be a unicast address or a multicast address or a broadcast address. How to know whether the given address is a unicast address or multicast address or broadcast address? We will revisit the Ethernet address before solving this problem. This is the Ethernet address and how to know that whether this is a multicast address or a unicast address or a broadcast address? Just take the first byte of the Ethernet address or the MAC address. When we take the first byte, just convert that into binary. So we will be obviously getting 8 bits. For 0, 06, we will be getting 8 bits in the binary. And this is byte 1. If the first byte's last bit, that is the least significant bit, if it is 0, then it is unicast and if it is 1, it is multicast and when all bits in the all bytes are 1, that is in hexadecimal if all digits are F, then it is a broadcast address. Now we will move on to the question. Let's solve subdivision A and we will take the first byte. The first byte is 4A. When we convert that first byte 4A to binary, we will get 01001010 and the least significant bit in the first byte is 0. When the least significant bit of the first byte is 0, then it is a unicast address. Now we will solve B. The first byte in the given address is 47. So the binary equivalent for the hexadecimal 47 is 01000011. And the last bit, that is the least significant bit of the first byte is 1. When it is 1, it is a multicast address. And finally, we will determine the type of C. The address that is given in C in binary, if all the digits in the MAC address are 1, then it is a broadcast address. In other words, in hexadecimal, if all digits are F, then it is a broadcast address. All digits are F, so it is a broadcast address. So just focus on the first byte. If the first byte is not FF, then take the first byte alone and solve this problem. If the first byte is FF, then check the remaining bytes also. And this is how we can determine the destination address, whether it is a unicast address or a multicast address or a broadcast address. Let's now move on to question number 3. Show how the address 47 colon 20 colon 1b colon 2e colon 08 colon ee is sent on the line. So there is a destination MAC address. How this destination MAC address is placed on the channel or the line? And this is a new type of question. So we will see how to solve this kind of question. Please make a note of this solution. The address is sent left to right. So where is the left hand side part? This is the left hand side part and this is the right hand side part. So this address will be sent from left to right. That is this byte is going to be sent followed by this byte followed by this, this, this and this. This will be the first byte that is placed on the channel or the line. Then how it is going to be placed? 
byte by byte. So this is the first byte it is going to be placed. Is it just like 47? No. For each byte it is sent right to left bit by bit. It means this 47 is not sent as 47 on the channel but it is placed as 74 that is 74 and after placing it as 74 also it should be bit by bit from right to left. We will see an example it will be clear for you. The answer for this question is this. Now how did we get this? We will just make a partition for every hexa digit and this is what the partition is. Now when I say this blue color this 4 is not sent as the first. This is how the data is going to be sent. This is not 4 actually that is this is not this byte. This 4 means this is this part. This 7 means this is this part. So as I mentioned this 4 and 7 are not just sent as 4 7 directly. So this 4 is placed here and this 7 is placed here and this is right to left but still it's not 8421 it's 1248 the reverse. So if you want to do it 8421 do it from the right to left. So every bit should be right to left. So 7 is the hexadecimal digit and its binary equivalent is 0 triple 1 4 2 1. So this is how we have to place. What is the hexadecimal equivalent for 4? It is 0 1 0 0. So how we are going to place 0 1 0 0? 0 1 0 0 like this. Let's see the second byte. In the second byte this pink color represents this side and this yellow color represents this side. What's the hexa digit? It's 2. How can we get 2? It's 8421 so it is 0 0 1 0. So against 2 we put a 1. And what about for 0? It's all zeros. It's not a problem. So this is how we are going to solve this problem. So just try this by completing all the remaining bytes. And the answer for this question is this. Now let's see the last question. Question number 4. The address 43 colon 7b colon 6c colon de colon 10 colon 00 has been shown as the destination address in an ethernet frame and the receiver has discarded the frame. Why? This is the destination address which is there on the ethernet frame. If you recollect the ethernet frame format, after preamble we get SFD. After SFD we will get destination MAC address. After destination MAC address we will find the source MAC address. And what it is given? In the frame if we explore, in the source address part we are finding this address. But the receiver has discarded this frame. Why? Quite tricky you know. We will see why the receiver has discarded now. When we take this MAC address, when we convert the first byte to binary, we will get 01000011. Now when we see the last bit that is the first byte's least significant bit, if it is 0 it is a unicast address. If it is 1, it is a multicast address. This is the answer. When it is 1, it is a multicast address. How can a multicast address be found in the source MAC address part? This is the reason why the receiver has discarded the frame. So the least significant bit is 1, that is this one. This means the pattern defines a multicast address and a multicast address can be a destination address but not a source address. Because when a source machine creates a packet or a frame, it has to put its source MAC address in the source MAC address field and destination MAC address in the destination MAC address. If the source computer wants to multicast, it has to put the multicast address in the destination multicast address only. If a frame is having a multicast address in the source address field, the receiver has to discard it. Therefore, the receiver knows that there is an error and discards the packet. I hope you liked the lecture and thank you for watching.